All right, guys, this is the third time I have tried to film this. The other two times I tried to film it, I wasn't drinking Red Bull. But now we're ready to take a look at my movie theater room. Let's do it. Okay, coming down the stairs. Now, I may I may actually put some lights on the stairs. It's probably the only thing I don't have that I said I wanted to do. Now, I can't say enough before I start this how much I appreciate my wife for doing all this for me, putting all this together for me. She did a fantastic job down here. So let's just start. When you come down to my basement, the first thing you see are the Infinity Gauntlet gloves. That's right, we got the Iron Man Gauntlet and the Thanos Gauntlet. And above that, a shrine to Stan Lee. Shout out to my sister Alexandra for this. Shout out to my coworkers for this. So much stuff has been given to me over the years and I finally have the opportunity to share it with you guys and also just have a place for it in my house. It's so awesome. Anyway, that is the first thing you see when you come down to my basement. Next up guys, you have my movie poster wall. We'll talk about all these movie posters. The first one here is Lost in Space. Lost in Space, admittedly not a great movie. Sorry about the glare on this, by the way. I'm trying to stay out of it, so I have to be off to the side. Lost in Space is admittedly not a great movie. However, it is the first movie that I got to see in theater. Shout out to my brother Aaron for taking me when I was just nine years old. I really appreciate him for taking me to this movie because it gave me a love for not only movies, but it gave me a love for the movie theater experience, which is just an unbeatable experience in my opinion. Next up, Jurassic Park is the first movie that I watched after reading the book. And I realized, wow, it, look, there I am in there. I realized, wow, uh, books could turn into movies and they could be so much more than what is just on the pages. And Jurassic Park, as you know, is an instant classic. Next up, guys, Stab. Now you'd be like, wait a minute, I know Ghostface, but I've never seen this movie Stab. That's because the movie exists within the movie Scream. Had to have it. It's just a, it's a really cool meta poster. And really, if you're going to have anything resembling Scream, you might as well have this. Next up, we have Watchmen. Guys, I'm telling you right now, Watchmen is one of my favorite comic book movies of all time, but it wasn't always that way. It has taken me many viewings and, and reading the graphic novel to appreciate this movie. But I'll tell you what, for my money, Watchmen is one of the greatest comic book movies of all time. Next up is my favorite movie of all time. I use that a lot in here because these are my favorite movies. I mean, I only had six posters to pick from. I had to uh, choose the movies that impacted me the most. I saw this movie when I was 14, and this movie is the best movie of all time. I rewatch this at least once a year, and I will say this, Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx, put together the greatest cast of all time in this movie. I love everything about Collateral, start to finish. There's a lot of messages being sent. The action in it is fantastic, and it's got some great comedy too. And finally, guys, Captain America Civil War. Captain America Civil War is my favorite of the MCU movies because the MCU brought us all together for so long with all these movies, and then Civil War, they drove us apart with our favorite characters, and they just did it beautifully. Not only did they drive the audience apart, but they drove themselves apart within the movie, and then all of that, of course, led to them losing an Infinity War and having to build back up for Endgame. Civil War is my favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. But enough about my posters, guys. Let's look at the movie theater room itself, and boom, there it is. My Red Bull can, you can spot, pop right there. I set it down earlier, but this is my movie theater room. Uh, I got a little solo chair here. Got a, a sofa here with all kinds of really cool stuff in it. You got these awesome popcorn. And then down here, all the remotes and some, some digital codes that I still need to give away. Uh, back here, though, the other couch sits on a riser so that you can see over it. I will show you guys right there. Pretty awesome, right? Hey, you guys want to see what it looks like with the lights out down here? And three, two, one, let's do it. And that's what the movie theater experience looks like down here. To me, the, that 4K transfer is just so awesome. This is what I get to watch my movies on down here. It's a 4K Sony 85-inch TV, and it is fucking awesome. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, it is awesome. Love my movie theater experience down here. Now, I had these signs up, and they were pretty centered to everything, but then my wife came and did all this for me. So now I've kind of, kind of change things up. I think I'm gonna have to move these, but uh, I've got a refrigerator here with all my favorite beverages. Uh, Michael Myers Halloween Kills Mask. It's my most anticipated movie this year, and it did not disappoint. I kind of disappointed, but the movie was what it was. Right here we have Evil Kerm. Now, Evil Kerm, where did he come from? Nobody knows. Evil Kerm has existed in a time and place and space no one knows about. 
but here he is. He's evil, and he's down here guarding the basement. And then there's this awesome Blockbuster sign. Now, you guys probably saw the Blockbuster sign on the back of my couch in one of my other videos. Blockbuster, to me, was such a big part of my childhood until they decided to close down. Um, I love Blockbuster. I love being able to go there. And I was like, I'm going to work at one one day, and I never did. Uh, oh, well, I guess. But Blockbuster, it lights up. It's awesome. And it makes a great piece for my basement. Finally, over here, you got a snack corner. A little bit of Voldemort over there. But a uh, popcorn machine makes real popcorn. A hot dog machine. Have not tried to use it yet. And down here are all the snacks. You got Sour Patch Kids. You got Reese's Pieces, M&M's, Pull and Peel Twizzlers, and of course, a giant thing of popcorn. Over here is my tripod. This is what I talk to you guys on when I'm down here uh, shooting videos. That's what I use. It's just kind of set up right now. It's nice I don't have to take it down every time. My old house had to take it down every single time. It was so annoying. Uh, <clears throat> but let's start over here with the knickknacks that I have up on the shelf. My sister Jenny got this for me, and uh, I love it, and I cannot take it out of the case. It reminds me of the Game of Thrones, I think it's season 5 or season 6, where all their heads are the display. Like, I don't know, this is just what it reminds me of. Right here, I got this for my birthday last year. It's the uh, Alien Covenant first alien that the evil David robot thinks up before he comes up with the uh, master plan of the final alien. Uh, some shot glasses here that I'll probably never use as actual shot glasses. All right, next up, guys, we have the one half of the Tag Team Championships. Uh, yeah, I love this belt, and it's the only one that I've kept. I've had a lot of wrestling belts from when I was a big fan back in the day, and this is the one I've kept. I don't know, I just, I've always loved this belt. Uh, and then my little brother got married recently and uh, gave me this awesome watch and uh, this awesome LeBron cup. Uh, and then over here, you've got Jim Gordon meeting the Dark Knight in Batman Begins, telling him, hey, here's this guy, he's leaving his calling card, and it's the Joker calling card, as you can see. And of course, it lights up, which is pretty awesome as well. But the really cool thing about this calling card is the fact that I've got it right here and that's the card that is handed to batman in batman begins saying that the joker is on his way then you got professor snape's wand <clears throat> and that is my comic book shelf over here you got my workstation right here but but as you can see it's a very professional workstation because you got the kramer right here and then over here you've got a batman calendar from the original batman movie but it's the year 1999 so while the months are wrong the days of the month are wrong it's still really cool pictures and it's from my birth year so that's pretty neat all right guys over here to my little knickknack corner we'll start with some action figures that i have up here i have all the big beds from the mcu and dr doom because you gotta keep him in there and then the guardians of the galaxy right there up top above that we have all the different kind of marvel characters uh, marvel guys um i think my favorite in this collection is either punisher or ant-man writing on antony which is pretty cool and then up here you have the avengers and some shield agents i had to sit these two down because they would not stand but you got nick fury in the background um Probably my favorite on this shelf is Hulk. I just love how detailed they made him. All right, guys, moving on. Right here, we have uh, some WWE guys. Again, I was a big fan of WWE when I was a teenager, and so I collected all of these. I don't know if any, maybe John Cena, but otherwise I don't know if any of these guys are actually still wrestling. It's weird to think that The Undertaker isn't wrestling anymore. And look, there's Finley. For any of you wrestling fans that watch me. Uh, yeah, these guys were awesome back in the day, and it's just, you know, that guy's wearing an ECW shirt. Like, it's just cool um found these i was like oh i have to display them next up i have my batman shelf uh, i got a bat signal here that the batteries are not working in it right now uh, i got a ben affleck batman a vampire batman uh, arkham asylum batman holding a joker head which is that's a great storyline same storyline as this futuristic batman i got a dark knight batman and then behind all of them a uh from from the bane storyline uh nightfall Batman, which is, of course, Gene Paul Valley's Batman, who goes crazy, tries to take over as Batman. It's a great storyline. Up top, I have my pops. Now, I don't have a ton of pops, but these pops all mean something to me. I love having the office space guys, and I love having Jim from the actual office. Uh, Heisenberg used to sit on my desk at work so people knew what was up, and uh, this Batman actually glows in the dark. Back there, you got the Will Smith character, and... Uh, who else is back there? Of course, you got Jack. How am I missing Jack? All right, next up, let's talk about these pictures I have on my wall. First off, you got the Death Star, which is awesome. It used to light up in all the right places. Uh, of course, that's the Death Star being built. Just cool, iconic picture from Star Wars. Uh, right here, you've got Groucho Marx, who is, in my opinion, old school comedy, none better than Groucho Marx. Uh, and then two signed Nicolas Cage pictures that I believe my mom gave me. And uh, it's really cool. Nicolas Cage, I used to say he was the greatest actor of all time. Uh, it wasn't just a phase, Mom. 
I still love him. And guys, that's my movie theater room. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of my of my movie theater room. This is where I'm shooting a lot of videos these days. This is where I get to enjoy a lot of movies, especially if they go straight to streaming. Uh, yeah, that is my movie theater room. Oh, you know what? Let's show you guys one more thing. And that would be my movie collection. So down here you have DVDs and cool box sets. Like right here, this Lost box set is just awesome. Um, and then Blu-rays, Blu-rays, more box sets and then more Blu-rays. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to run out of room. I'm having to go backwards all up these shelves. It is what it is. I'll probably put in more shelves eventually. And guys, that is a walkthrough of my movie theater room. Told you guys I would do it once things were up and ready, and they are now. I appreciate you watching this. If you liked it, hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button so you see all the content that I have coming your way. Halloween week is upon us, and I promise you there's going to be a lot of Halloween-type movies that I review this week for fun. And thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time.